So again, I've had another little bit of a think overnight to the next day again. And you can probably see here, this is quite curved. But then this bit here, after this knot, this is very straight. So I'm thinking about cutting it here, squaring off these faces, and then adding something else in. Hopefully that'll stop. It'll reduce a bit of weight because we'll get rid of some of the some of the material. But also it's much, much straighter, so it'll stop that movement. And rather than three, we'll go for four, one on each side. Again for stability. So first thing we'll cut this off. Stands up perfectly well by itself. So now that's leveled off, let's see how she looks. It's definitely a lot sturdier than it was. Almost standing up by itself. Always going to get there. Ooh, perfect. Definitely the right way to go. We'll get the uh, we'll get the grinder on it and we'll flatten off some of this. Just not much, just a little bit of these surfaces. So I've done all four sides now, looking quite square, okay, let's have a rethink on the legs. Right, so I said we are going to have a rethink on the feet, and um, my rethink is basically I'm just going to bin it. <laughs> so I put the originals back on, only four this time, and it does stand up, which is cool leaning over a little bit but it's properly wibbly wobbly i just can't get i can't just can't get them strong enough against the wood it's just not it's just not good enough so i'm going to bin the whole thing off and we've selected an old plant pot which i have to give a bit of a tidy up to and i'm going to stick it in there and i'm going to concrete it in i think it's the easiest solution uh, I've got some concrete left over from another job as well. That way I can get the position that I want, I can get it all set, uh, and then obviously just wait for the concrete to go off. So that's what I'm thinking. We need to tidy this up, remove those legs, mix up some concrete. You can tell it's not strong enough because it's properly bent that screw which is the one thing you want to try and avoid especially once you've got some clothes hanging on it hanging off it that's quite a bit of weight so i think concrete is the way to go right i'm going to put some screws in the bottom of this so it's got something for the concrete so when i pull it up it can't just pull out the concrete so Okay, so if you can see that, when that sits in there and it sits in the concrete, that's going to give it some purchase so it can't just pop out later on. Okay, so the plant pot, I'm just going to tidy up with some sandpaper. Um, we've got a couple of different plant pots while we're on the, while we're on the topic. Um, this one, it's just sort of mass-produced, uh, machine-made. 
uh, type of one. These ones are actually handmade on the island. I mean, you can tell the difference in the color straight away. These are a bit funky. They're a bit more rustic, uh, misshaped. Uh, can be a bit random, but tend to get this really good patina when they age. These ones don't really get the patina and they end up just cracking and breaking. So not the greatest. You can see these are all the same deal, prefabbed ones. And this is a local handmade one. Goodbye. And anyway, for now, we're just going to go at it with some sandpaper. It's 80 grit to start with. Okay, cool. So, all I'm doing is taking off the big lumps or anything that might hurt your hand. I don't want to actually take away too much of this, of this old patina. I quite like that. Um, what we'll probably do in the future is we'll probably seal it with some sort of um, transparent varnish or transparent paint or something that's got no colour to it so it keeps this shine but then we offer some protection. We're not going to do anything today with this in terms of colour and stuff because what we're going to do is we're going to obviously get the concrete sorted out then get everything put in place. Because we've cut down this, cut this branch off the tree just a couple of days ago, it's still got a bit of drying out to do. So we're going to build everything up, get it in place, then we're going to leave it uh, out in the sunshine um probably for a good few weeks to be honest maybe even longer let it dry out properly see what the color looks like when she's finished then decide how we're gonna we're gonna finish this for now we're gonna leave everything neutral and then we've got a chance to decide moving moving forward so i'm gonna get my concrete Okay, so this you buy from the builder's merchant and it's gravel and sharp sand uh, already mixed together with the right ratios. This here is where I keep my cement. You buy it in bags, but obviously I don't use it all in one go unless I'm doing a huge area. So I keep it in a little bin here just to um, stop it from getting damp and going off. So uh, we're going to put it in the pot, dry, get the amount that we want right, uh, and then we can wet it uh, and go from there. Go for one semi fullish one. And now we'll mix it up. It's about three quarters of the way up, two thirds maybe. Now we can add some water. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour it in there. Got a little tiny hole there, look where it normally drains out. So I'm going to stick a little stone or a rock or something in there. What have I got? Nothing handy. I'll use the off cut of the tree. Why not? Okay, it's all mixed up so it's ready to pour. And we'll get it in position and we'll crack on. Okay, I'm going to need a hand here. There you go. So I've put it close to the table saw so I can slide this out and then help support it while it's going off, basically. I'll deal with that afterwards. Can you, Min? Yeah? Okay. Okay, look, it's all concreted in. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pop a screw in the in the sled here, and we're just going to move this a little bit closer, like so, and then pull this out a bit more, get it in position where it's not going to bang. 
I'm just going to pop a cable tie around it. Like so. Now we're going to eyeball it and get it in position and then leave it to go off. Could use a level, but it's so gnarly, it's almost impossible. I think we're not bad actually. Right, cool. Just get a sponge, clean off where I've spilt, and we'll let it go off. Okay, next morning, so let's get checked out. Okay. Staying upright at least. Oh. Not bad. Cool, there she blows. Have a look at the concrete. That's how the concrete looks. You might finish that with some like nice decorative stones or something. Maybe some nice coloured gravel. We'll see. It's actually been about three weeks since that last shot we've just transitioned from where we were outside. Um, time just got away with me, I'm afraid. But it's been in use. Here it is, as you can see, loaded up. Um, stability wise, I mean, pretty good. A lot of weight on top. Let's see, let's see what we've got going on. Uh, light jacket, my hat, hoodie, winter jacket. Work jeans, a shirt, Ooh, pajama bottoms, another pair of jeans, one hat, two hats, three hats. So there we go. And she's looking looking pretty good. There we go, the finished product. I'm really, really enjoying the patina on the plant pot there. And you can see some really funky looking details from the carving. Colour's beautiful. And there we go. So we just need to finish it really. If anyone's got any suggestions, boiled linseed oil, wax, I have no idea. If you've got some suggestions, that would be great. So there we go, perfect. Thanks for watching.